This video is all the patches I did. Uh, the doors I tried to use wood filler. There's one there, there, there. Uh, this one uh, already patched, but it looked horrible. And I totally missed this one. I had to patch over it. And then a couple of patches there. Here's the and crack patched it. Uh, patches here around this light fixture. This drywall missing. I can just see the under the drywall paper on the drywall. Uh, some more hairs like nails popping out, and it's not as much texturing. I figured I'd just touch it up. And oh, this door patched it. Uh, Little nail spot there. Um, let's let's see this door. Touched it there. Nail spot there. And this one just had a ding here and there. That stuff when I moved in, it was here. Uh, that one in the closet, but needed redone because it was like sinking. It looked lousy. And the bathroom, I pet these on. And around the slate, there's a bit of a gap. And then this big one, it was just sinking it all cracked. They did a lousy job patching it. So I patched over it, uh, sanded it real good. I had to use a little other filler here, but sanded smooth. Um, I just need to get the color matching paint on it. Uh, a little thing here. I patched. Yeah, the next room. That's really smooth. It'll look alright with paint over it. And I patch these two holes. It's all nail hole or whatever there. Uh, what else? Um, there's a ding down here. I patch. Uh, long hair is cracking. I needed a patch there more, but I'll try to get out the paint or patch a little more with drill in here. There's a ding there from the door to you. And around this light, something like the other light. It's like they put the light in after the, well, they put the lights in after the drywall mud and drywall and drywall mud, but it's like they cracked all the plaster off. So I'm just doing it while it's in place. It don't look like just straight drywall paper with no paint or nothing on it. Long hair I put down. Uh, this wall of texture over and over. I think I got it looking better there. It's still drying. I just put a little more on there. Uh, there I patched a crack uh, here. Here. There was like a nail I think is popping out. And here is another crack. And here is a big crack and chip. I pitched that and down there. This, this, this. Uh, there was a big crack. Long hair was cracks and gap. And, uh, there's a piece of plaster missing there. Drywall mats in there. <laughs> and then I, I probably have to sand that down a little more. Of that there shouldn't be sticking out as much. So it's like all up this. There is, it's like I should. Should patch more. I think I'll be alright if I paint it. Uh, these are just... It was like all the freaking... Uh, drywall... Or all the nails along this beam or something. It, was, it seemed like the board would be here, but there's some here. But it's like all these are popping out and the plaster and paint was coming off. A uh, couple more patch jobs here. Around that there, the outlet, the big gap. Uh, I need to paint over it, maybe even touch up, plaster that, and that crack around that window a little because that looks a little wavy. This I did redo because on some of this stuff, there's a crack there. That didn't look right because there's a bunch of plaster missing here. 
uh, around this head cap so the plaster around that uh, this door had three dings on the front here or four I have four one there 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 and I did around all these light sockets underneath the sinks around the piping around the piping in here I already painted over it but the painting didn't color match that great I to get another one and Around the gas line, these lines, I had to tape that. That's an old gate bell that should cut out. Well, I think they left it to save time. This, I had to drywall in, screw the drywall in. Luckily, it was a small piece. I had to plaster it, put drywall tape, more plaster. Until I totally sealed it in. Uh, it's a little messy, but it's better than a big gaping hole into the attic and bugs and rodents crawling through. And, uh, I guess I could show that under the sinks real quick, too, on the whole. That one I plastered. I get, you can see the paint's a little lighter, but I got the texture looking better on that one. This, uh, Santa Fe Mediterranean style texture is a little tough to get right at first, but it takes a little practice to get it right. I did all of these cabinets right here around the kitchen window and there's a bunch of gaps and then you paint over it with the color match paint and there did all that and this big crack along here and should have filled more in that corner I might have to do that I might make a I probably make a little more drywall mud and texture the ones that look a little wavy like that try to get a more of this plaster look like that and then uh mm, yeah under the cabinet and plaster all around this pipe these pipes these were steady sturdy i didn't have to use spray foam i got a little paint on that one or something uh that's better the bugs aren't crawling through these People downstairs left the place a mess, and it's like the bugs were crawling through. I relined this cabinet, too, with this stuff that just sits in there. Uh, but yeah, the plaster's keeping the bugs out. I've been killing, like, I killed, like, one roach today, two roaches. That's, like, day six or seven. I'm down to, like, almost no roaches. Maybe tomorrow I'll kill none. Oh, and I redid these. Cabinet handle. I touched this one up. There's a little odd looking. It still looks a little odd looking. The coating off of it was coming off, and I tried sand that, but I guess they, I guess they're not fixing some of them totally because the it's a little mess mat. But they look pretty neat on them. Hey, just that one looks a little odd. Uh, this had a big gap, and this there had the gap. And I just filled in with plaster. I think they caulked before I did. And it's to, or maybe I did. I'm not sure. But it's like it, it was cracking anyways again. I figured I'd use drywall mud this time. And I plastered in here around the different lines. And underneath of it, I plastered and spray foamed some. I had to plaster around the vent from the downstairs one that connects to the vent on this one. I taped all these fittings on the water heater in the furnace here. They're supposed to be taped and have three screws of fitting. And uh, around the bathroom. <coughs> Plaster, uh, spray foam behind the angle steps here. I probably have to clean it up a little more and just paint over it and then spray from that and clean it up and plaster it over it and paint it uh, and that but I got or, or that one I just spray from behind it. It's like these copper water lines in the bathroom are all loose and uh, that's about it for now. I'll show you after the paint job. I got a, oh yeah, hold on. There's a uh, piece I had to take of the wall off to get that color matched that's what that patch before on the one walls from 
He said I need a 4x4 four four square because I had like a little 1 inch one last time at Walmart. So. I think that'll work. I took it out of here and I just retexture it. It looks like the rest of the texture. Just need to paint it and then, then I had to touch up a little. It was a nail or nail hole or something there and a crack there and a little bit of cracking here and plaster missing but they painted over it so I just retexture it since I have some plaster or drywall mud uh, here 